Hello, my name's Lisa and together with my husband Glenn, we sold a house and got rid of all of our stuff in search of a more meaningful life. Over the past five years, we've lived on board a narrow boat called Nutshell and we've brought a static caravan in Devon. We're currently living in a small house in Northampton, ready for our next adventure. This is how our week unfolded. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. We stayed at Debbie's last night because Louise and Dave stayed at our house. While we're here, Glenn's doing a couple of jobs. He's dismantling Debbie's hammock because that is being stored away for the winter. So as I mentioned in last week's video, this is the weekend of the Boat Vloggers Christmas Do. Oh, I love a Christmas Do. Sol and Debbie from Barely Floating, well, they're travelling down from Lancaster Way, right up north, four-hour journey down to Northampton, and they're staying here as well. We're, like, taking over Deb's house. She did say it was okay. And they're going to stay here tonight. We're on our way round to the little house where Louise and Dave stayed last night, and we're going to pick them up and we're going to go out for some breakfast. Well, I mean, oh, it's, it's, half it's half 12. Let's call it brunch. We've just had brunch and I got beans all down my top. It was inevitable, really. Louise and Glenn into the shop to get some flowers. Yes, for Jan tomorrow. We've just come back to the little house and we're just making a cup of tea. And I was like, Louise, have you drawn faces? Onto our onions no! and our limes and all the potatoes. We're just making a cup of tea. Dave's going to have his £9.50 cake. Righty, cups of tea drunk, donuts eaten. So we're now departing for Debbie's. We're taking with us wine and beer. And Louise, what have you got in that bag? Secret. Which you can get on Amazon. It's Pretty good strategic game. It's a very good strategic game. I'm very good at it. Silly sillies, we've got articulate. articulate. We're still catching up on YouTube videos. <laughs> Jan and Tony, <laughs> their five worst moments. It's a good watch. Glenn is doing a robot delivery for some crisps and nibbles. <laughs> so Sol and Debbie are here. Robot's on its way. Glenn's went for the robot. Robot's across the road. Can you see him? He's over there. He's, he's differing. Oh, no, robot's coming. Robot's coming. He's always moving quick now. Oh, he's coming all the way round. Here he comes. This is not quick delivery, is it? <laughs> Welcome mm, yes, to Saturday so. night on A Life Full of Meaning. We are having nibbles, <laughs> as you can see. Please, have you touched my camera? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got deliciousness. Okay, I'd like to raise a toast. Thank you very much for having us. Yes. Cheers, 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 cheers. Right. Louise, what are we playing? We are playing like articulation. So basically, it's a game. Pete it's a board game. <laughs> right. Yeah. We like Pictionary, yeah, but with the words. Words. Okay, okay. Could be ready mixed. Concrete. Fashion bike, one wheel bigger than the other. Penny farthing. Okay, you wrap it round your neck. Scarf. It's a, what's the name of geese? I go. Yeah. Hello, good morning, and welcome to Sunday. I'm in the kitchen with Deb. She is cooking up a storm. The smell of bacon. I'm not having any, but it smells lovely. There's croissants, there's bacon, there's mushrooms, there's eggs. Oh, it's delicious, delicious. Debbie and Zoe are here. Louise and Dave, they went back to the little house last night and we're getting ready for the vlogger's Christmas party. Glenn has just unwrapped Debbie's Christmas tree. Look at that, it's bloody lovely. He's looking for the Christmas tree base. It's the search that goes on every year. Glenn's found it. Okay. Louise and Dave have arrived, and Louise, you have this fantastic idea, don't you? I've brought a permanent marker, and I'm going to get boat vloggers to sign my dress. And then? And then I'm going to stitch in over 
over the oh it's going to be like a proper christmas dress oh, 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 merry christmas louise is ready dave's ready um, i've got the flowers for jan just arrived in soap room oh, <laughs> we're gathering getting the gang back together just ready to go in come on let's go let's go and just wrap the lock <laughs> right there we go there we go jan signing now Food's coming out. No one can remember. It's been that long since we ordered. Am, am I halloumi? I'm, I am halloumi. I've got halloumi. Glenn's got mushroom. I've got a strange feeling. I don't know. Just throw it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, yes. You've got skills. Because you can't land it. I'm, I'm a natural. Five. Anyone else? Absolutely. Yeah. Well done. Best out of three. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to beat what? Seven? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, well done. Dave, that was, that was impressive. Souls in the lead. Followed by Tony, followed by Paul, followed by me. It's all to play for. They need six to draw, seven to win. The pressure is on. Come on. Oh, oh It's all right. Dave wins. wins. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. So, Jan, Anthony, Louise, Deb, Kim. Oh, what Lord. Very impressive. Very good. Oh. So we just got back to Deb's. I've lost my voice. I can hardly speak. I've got a headache from laughing. I know, I know. Deb has been cooking. It smells so good in here. Deb's making porn so much in here. So life is good. Let's put that in. Oh, excellente. Lovely job. There we go. Lovely. Cheers. Oh, look at this. This is like a super feast. It's like Christmas, isn't it? Good morning and welcome to Monday. The morning after, the night before. I laughed so much, talked so much, I've given myself a sore throat. Ah, well, never mind. Debbie and Sol are still here. They're, they're standing by the door. Well, it looks like they're ready to run away, but they're not. <laughs> they're leaving soon. But first, we're having breakfast. Louise and Dave... They set off early this morning and they're on their way back. So, breakfast first and then we'll plan what we're doing for the rest of the day. So we've decided to return to Wilton Marina Cafe because they did such a good breakfast. So that's where we're off to. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I need, I need tea and toast. That's what I need. Here we are, Wilton Marina. It's always good to have a look at the boats while we're here. Just have a quick perusal. So Debbie and Sol have gone for the bacon and sausage baguette and it's got stuff in it. Looks amazing. I've gone for the veggie breakfast. Very small breakfast. We've just said bye to Debbie and Sol. Chloe has just rang, feeling poorly, and she was just like, Mom, I want some soup. So Glenn is going to drop me at Chloe's. I've just picked up the ingredients to make some soup. So, we're doing leek and potato. Got the onions going on. Nothing like soup on a cold day when you're feeling poorly. So, soup is done. 
we're just making some delicious croutons. There you go, my darling. Be well. Let's go eat some soup. Hi. Just leaving Chloe's now. Mr. Warner's here. Back to the little house now. Oh, it's good to be back in. It's been such a good but busy couple of days. Let's pop you there. Hello, come to the office. See what that is. Oh, this is me clothes washing stuff. I always get excited when that comes. And although I am happy to see it, I get less excited when I open it. Glenn's brought the tumble dryer back and we're going to fit that into the little cupboard outside. That was a royal wee. Yeah. I'm not doing it. Going to get some washing on. Going to get some... I was going to say get some bits and bobs done, but I think I'm, I'm going to open my computer, sit down, maybe watch a bit of telly. I just put my feet up, do a little bit of work in front of the TV. Ooh, on a Monday. Louise and Dave have been staying here this weekend. Look what I found. What could it be? Well, let's, let's try and open it gently so I can reuse the bag. Congratulations on your new home. We know you'll love it because we did. We had the very best time. Oh, it's lovely to have them stay. And what's in here? Oh, look what we've got for our bath. Some little rubber duckies. Thank you, thank you so much, Louise and Dave. It's all action stations here. Glenn is just going to do the engine room chat with Sol, Dave and Jeff. I'm making Mr Warner a cup of tea and while Glenn's chatting, can you see? That's my Christmas cards and my address book, yeah? Gonna get all Christmassy. The washing machine is just going into a spin cycle. So you probably can't hear me. Washing machine's now finished. Anyway, I'm doing us a little bit of Let's call it supper because we haven't really eaten. It's essentially leftovers, bread, cheese, a lot of cheese. Anyway, tomorrow I'll get back on the good cooking. We've got some halloumi with a drizzle of honey on. This is leftover from the bread and can bear that Debbie did yesterday. And then there's some hummus. Glenn's got a couple of pork pies. I've got a couple of falafels. Yum, yum, yum. Good morning, good morning and welcome to Tuesday. I've been up early this morning. Oh, I've done my yoga. I'm just finishing off editing video and I'm sitting here at the table and I glanced up and let me show you the beautiful colour of the sky. Can you see that? It is the most beautiful pink and purple. Oh, it's just stunning. I've just put the washing machine on. I always do it just before I go to film. And because it's such a small house, you hear it. Anyway, ignore the washing machine. This morning is gonna be about admin. Oh, in my head, I keep thinking, must do that, must do that, must remember that. Can't forget I've got to pick Leo up. I mean, I'm disorganized. I have a whole basket of paper that needs sorting today. And I've just spent 25 minutes looking for my diary well it's like diary journal to-do list all rolled into one my first thought after i couldn't find it was like i can't find it i need a new notebook and then i was like lisa this notebook has one two three pages written in it I'm gonna rip those out I'm gonna start a new one Anyway, that's what I'm doing today, and I'm trying to persuade Mr. Warner to do that too. I've now convinced Mr. Warner to join with me on my admin quest. He's so happy about it. He is, yes. I've even bribed him with toasted hot cross buns and a cup of tea. And they go. You know, some mornings when you're just super productive. I've done my yoga, I've done my editing, I've ordered my prescription put washing in. I'm all over it this morning. Admittedly, I haven't got washed or dressed yet, but let's not push it. Note to self, grill is super quick. So I need to read the water meter and I've got a horrible feeling I've just found it. Feeling that this, this <laughs> oh. may have been put 
Oh, maybe not. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> I'm coming in here. It's warmer. So I'm just talking to my mum. I haven't spoken to her since Friday. So need to find out Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five things from the advent calendar. Let's have a look. Right, first one. Yeah, Fridays. That. Oh, lip balm, good in this weather, yeah. That's what I thought. I'm still using mine from last year. Oh, nice. Is that moisturiser? Yeah, uh, shower cream. Oh, oh, nice. Another shower cream. Oh, you can't can't have too much of that. Always useful. Oh, is that a face mask? Face mask. Oh. And today's was. What's that? Lift it up a little bit. Sleeping mask. A sleeping mask. I won't recognise you when I see you. You look like twenty years younger. I was just moaning to Mr. Warner. No, I wasn't moaning. I was just saying that I would like a full length mirror somewhere in this property. We've got a small mirror in the bathroom. All I can see is my head. I just looked on Dunelm and they were like £125 for a full length mirror. Look, I found one. Fiver. Fiver? Sold to the woman in the grey jumper. Oh, I just picked Leo up. It is horrible outside it's, it's it's just horrible that's all i can say oh the storm is coming in tony the master printer is it gonna work do you know what this is called leo it's called screen printing, screen printing. right oh. it's gonna print fine it's gonna be yeah okay. precision see precision engineer yeah Oh, Leo, this is so exciting. That's, that's, that's my colour. So this is a screen and this is the ink. And Tony's going to work his magic. Ink's going on. Here we go. Is there any part of the process that you love? I kind of like all of the process. Yeah. You know, the artwork. Yeah, sure yeah. The prints right. Yeah. It's nice then to have a bit of a print run and you can kind of turn off Just, for a couple of hours. I was speaking to someone the other day. They said they did this at art college yeah. and they loved it. They loved yeah, it. That's yeah, where, that's where I go to school, actually. Yeah. Where I, where I learned. Can you see, Leo? This is where the magic happens. Oh, and here we go. That. Looks very satisfying. It's a messy old job. I am ready. I am ready. Are we ready? Ready for the big reveal. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That looks fabulous. Oh, I love this so much. And we were worried it wouldn't work, didn't we? we? we, were, we were, yeah, we were. Yeah, yeah on this yeah, material. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you are a master. I'm not bad. Right, now it's got to go through the dryer to make sure the ink stays on. So it's just going to cover the handles. In it goes. Brilliant. Tony, that is fabulous absolutely <laughs> fabulous right, thank Lisa. you very much thank you. thank you i am so happy with how that has turned out glenn and leo just picking up the camera lights so i can get a nice picture of it so after all the bag excitement we're back at the house now and gonna make leo and glenn hot chocolate squirt cream and marshmallows it's a sort of celebratory day a hot chocolate masterpiece for mr warner one for leo so we're wrapped up warm we're walking down the pub oh this is the first time in a while that we've walked down the pub and the great thing is we haven't got a long car journey at the end of the night either so come on let's go let's go pub tuesday the walking to the pub is a novelty and we'll see you in the morning beautiful sunrise today on my way to milton kings it is just gone eight o'clock we should have a storm hitting today but i think it's going to be windy see how it turns out good morning good morning and welcome to wednesday 
Glenn's gone to work. I'm just off out and I have so many errands to run today. Can you see that? Yeah. I've got a lot of picking up and dropping off of stuff to do today. There's a lot on the list. I'm going to take you with me. I can't promise it's going to be exciting, but come on, let's go. I'm leaving the kitchen a right mess. That doesn't make me happy, but hopefully I'll get time to do it later. Okie dokie, first stop, Deb shop. Morning. Oh, it's so cold out there. That's the first job done. I'll do some admin for Deb at the, at the beginning of each month. So I've picked that up. I'll take that back to the house when I get a moment and do that on to the next one. Oh, the errands. I mean, the last one went so well. I didn't even have opportunity to film. Do you remember yesterday when I was saying to Glenn that I didn't have a full length mirror and he found one? on Facebook Marketplace for Fiverr. Well, we didn't go for that one. We went for another one, which was 20 quid, because it was in a nicer frame. And Glenn gave me instructions today to go pick it up. And I was like, I'm never gonna get this mirror in the car. I thought, I'm never gonna park outside because it's in the centre of town. Would you believe, would you believe, I navigated there, no problem. There was a massive parking space right outside and fitted in the car, no dramas. I mean, I was gobsmacked. Anyway, I'm at Western Fable Shopping Centre. I'm hoping to crack out a couple of the jobs that I need to do right here. I need to buy some stamps and post the Christmas cards. I need to get a smart worktop for work tomorrow. I need to get something for Glenn to eat tonight for tea because I'm going to my mum's. And I think that's it. I think that's three, basically. Oh, it's fierce out there today. First bag of rubbish done today. Picked up 12 bags of uh, sand as well. Um, got to sort some sandbags out later, either today or tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's pretty horrible out there today. Getting up was a struggle this morning. And then I couldn't get in the office, so I've got to sort some keys out. Uh, for myself so I can get in, a, in and out with no aggravation. This day is going so well. So I've got the stamps for the cards. I haven't posted them yet. I'm going to do that at the office. I've got two potential worktops. I'm going to try them on when I get back. Uh, you do get uniform, but mine's not in yet. So I just need to go in something smart. I've got food for Glenn for dinner tonight. And I've got a load of veggie stuff while I was in the supermarket successful i'll call that now on to the office i've got to pick up part of an order then go to the printers and pick up the rest of the order and then drop it off to the customer then i might have done the first page of my list so this is the sort of rubbish we have to deal with people just they've all gone to the trouble of tying it up and bagged it up but just launched it behind the bus, bus stop the other day I had a conversation with my friend and we were talking about the difference between living a busy life and leading a full life. So this is what I, I surmise, is when I'm busy, I'm running around like today, busy, busy, busy. It's not where I want to be. I want to lead a full life where I'm doing lots of stuff, but there's a calmer flow to the day. I want it to be full, not busy. I'm not sure that makes any sense to anyone other than me, but that's what I'm aiming for. Today isn't that, by the way. Today is definitely busy. It's so cold out there. I've picked Leo up. Oh, Hello. We are now on our way to Nanny's, aren't we? Yeah. It's Fish and Chip Wednesday. Or, in Leo's case, Halloumi and Chips Wednesday. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Hello! It's Christmas! Mum's got all her decks up. Oh, Mum's got her angel that I made last year. Look at that! I've just got home and what I've just done, I'm about to fit a little light under here. We had some left over from the boat, so I'll just put the batteries in and see, see how it looks. It's not actually flashing, but it's just a, like a low level kitchen light. So me and Leo, we're walking that round to the chip shop. I'm going to share some halloumi and chips with Leo. Mum's going back a sausage. Just in case you're wondering what we're having. 
there's news of a plan B COVID restrictions going on press conference later today so really hoping that's not gonna cause too much christmas chaos anyway i'm leaving mums now gonna take leo back home then i'm popping around to see my friend dawn tonight mr warner he's been very busy he's fixed the wi-fi heating so it now works on phone but this this is amazing look i just made a bit more room do you know what that is mr warner what that is floor space. It is floor space. And my two, once my tools, once all that painting stuff's gone, that'll be. Oh yes. Yeah. Well done. So I'm off. <laughs> I'm off out. I'm off to my neighbour Dawn. I'm going to give Dawn my very first, first off the press, be kind bag. I'm going to say goodbye for for now, and we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to Thursday. A little bit of drama first thing this morning. Mr. Warner, tire flat. It's not all the way down, just needs pumping up. But he's already left for work and then he's had to come back, get the pump. Currently, he's pumping it up. Now, if I was a good video person, I'd get out there and show you some footage of it. But I'm still in my PJs and it's cold out there. So just take my word for it. Mr. Warner's pumping up the tire. Three very exciting things happening today number one start my new job yes i do well that's very exciting number two speaking to paul and maxine for our meaningful midweek conversation and number three i've just made the be kind gray felt bags available to pre-order on the website oh man super exciting uh, could we add a number four I'm just making myself a pucker three ginger tea. Yeah, maybe that's a push at calling that exciting. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy. So I just stopped for five minutes. What a morning it was. I didn't get my camera out because I was too stressing about it. The tyre warning light came on. <laughs> Believe it or not, another flat tyre. So it wasn't completely flat. So I nipped back home, got the pump out of the smart car, pumped it up hard enough. Text work say I was going to be late because I wanted to get the tyre sorted out. Pretty much on the way is my friend Gary and Kim at uh, KB Tyres. So I went round to see Gary. He uh, found a massive nail in the tyre. I think I've got it in my pocket. I'm just having not much luck with tyres lately. This was in the tyre. Took it out, fixed it. I've got to reset the, the light on the car because it still says it's got a flat tyre and it hasn't. Basically you have to go into the settings apparently. So because there was a guy right next to me in a Audi and he'd got exactly the same problem and it was in the same place in the tyre. It was amazing. Anyway, we both waited and got it sorted. I got to work a little bit late today. I've been out and about. Uh, was Gifford Park was my first planned stint this morning where I got four bags of rubbish which is amazing because it wasn't that long ago we did a ranger day there so anyway four bags of rubbish and I bumped into our friend Julianne who lives on a boat so that was cool just have a, I just had a quick word with, with her I've got to nip the Newport Pagnall to get some keys cut because I was locked out of the building yesterday I've rattled on long enough I'm gonna go uh, have a little drive through the estate here see if there's anything that needs urgently doing but if not i'm going to pop to newport pagnall and get these keys cut do you know after yesterday's craziness today has just such a gentle ease to it this is what i call a full day lots of great stuff done with ease and grace talking about full day i'm about to eat a cheese and onion pasty for brunch here we go let's see what delights this has in store so i've just got all my keys cut this should get me in the build and get me in the backyard hopefully the only thing we're missing now is a spare van key really but anyway see how we go so that's it i'm ready for work let me show you my new top this is the one i bought in tesco's yesterday can you see it's a long green cardigan 22 pound i think it cost didn't think it was too bad looks quite smart and i'll wear it again so i have broken my do not buy anything new especially when it comes to clothes rule but i needed it for work that's what i told myself anyway i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready if i keep saying that to myself on repeat it'll all be fine righty i'm outside i'm ready to go in just want to get this first day out of the way so i've just got back home been able to sing chili jam jeff he's all right sally bless her 
cooked me dinner. Sausage and mash and beans. That was really nice of her. I really appreciate it. So thank you, Sally. And thanks, Jeff. It was great to see you. The weather on the way back was awful. Mrs. Warner's obviously at work. I can't wait to see her later. See how she got on today. See how, what, see what she thinks. She don't finish till 11. Let's see how she got on. We'll have a word of her later. Guess what I've got for Mrs. Warner? Chili jam. Jeff's cooked up a batch and he's given me a jar. I mean... First day, tick, done. Lovely people. Once I know what I'm doing, I think I'll really enjoy it. I'm off to bed and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning and welcome to Friday. Oh, if ever I've got the Friday feeling, it's today. Oh yes it is. I've got such a lovely, easy day and I need it, I reckon. After all the excitement of my first day at work yesterday. Yeah, I'm knackered today. I didn't have tea last night, so I've decided I'm gonna treat myself to a vegetarian sausage roll. I found a couple of rolls in the back of the cupboard. Oh man, I need to have a sort out. We need to start eating proper. And I've got some of these Richmond meat-free sausages. Oh, they're going in the pan. And as if that wasn't enough, Glenn went to see Jeff last night, brought back some chilli jam. Oh man. Yeah, nice, easy, slow, luxurious, start to the day they look like sausages they smell like sausages these are actually my favorite meat free sausages these ones it's waiting it's ready any moment now now that is how you start a friday i've been proper lazing around this morning yeah like proper lounging on the sofa chatting to friends catching up with my mum and all sorts anyway our lovely neighbour who i have not met each week we've been here she's been bringing our bins in today i'm here the bins have been emptied so i can put hers away this is just a little neighbourly thing to do yeah all emptied that's bins put away and reminds me i need to pop a christmas card through each of the doors this is a cluster home so basically we have four neighbors it's a catastrophe yeah i did that i was reaching in to get some spices spices fell out the cupboard onto the draining board the only thing that i've got to do today apart from a load of work on the computer is pick leo up at four o'clock apart from that the day is mine. I am going to start preparing for dinner tonight. I mean, I know it's just gone 11 o'clock. It's a tad early, but that's never stopped me before. Basically, I thought what I'll do is I'll cook a delicious dinner and I'm going to go full out roasty with some delicious gravy. Let me show you the ingredients I've got. I might not use all of these. I have got celery two carrots bit bit past their best uh this onion this is what louise did when she was staying last week it's going to feel like a massacre cutting that open some herbs oregano and that looks like rosemary in there glass of white wine i'm thinking that could add a certain je ne sais quoi some salt and pepper and i found this in the fridge spiced quince and pear relish there's not much left in there and that jar needs using here we go let's see if we can make delicious gravy using these ingredients i'm listening to glennon doyle's untamed podcast fills me with joy it soothes my heart i think she's like a soul sister yeah she doesn't know it she doesn't know it but i think we are so in here the onion the carrot the celery some oregano and what i think is rosemary but it might be thyme who knows some green herbs anyway i'm just softening that for a bit then i'm going to stick it in the oven i've just done the notice boards it's a little bit of a challenge to do the notice boards to see how quickly you can do it last month i did it in a in an hour um, I've just done it in 37 minutes. So that's going around the nine estates, the notice boards, unlocking them, taking the old paper down, putting the new paper up. Not that I'm competitive or anything, but I've actually put a £10 bet on anyone that can beat it. Oh yeah, that smells lovely. And then, 
throwing in the wine. Oh, maybe that was a bit too much wine. Okay, I've whizzed it down. I've added some water. It tastes bloody lovely, but I don't like consistency of it. So I'm going to chuck it through the sieve. It was well worth sieving the gravy. Oh, it's, I'll tell you what, it tastes so good. Beffy's just rang me to say I don't need to go and get Leo. Oh, do you know what? I'm planning to just stay in the kitchen cooking. Why do I feel so guilty when I do the stuff that gives me the greatest pleasure, i.e. stand in this kitchen, listen to podcasts, stirring, chopping, cooking, makes me so happy. And yeah, I tell myself, Lisa, you really should be doing this. I've got a to-do list that's massive and I'm like, oh, you really should be doing that. If you're based in the UK, you may have heard of an app called Too Good To Go. I mean, I'm presuming it's just in the UK. For all I know, it's all around the world. But anyway, supermarkets, restaurants, food places. At the end of the day, if they've got leftover food, they post it on the app. You pay a couple of quid, you get like a big bag of stuff. You don't know what it's going to be. It's like a surprise. Jeff lives near a co-op. They quite frequently do a too good to go. He got a couple of packs of prawns. Jeff don't like prawns. So he gave them to Glenn last night. Mr. Warner. Oh, he loves a prawn cocktail. He goes full on 1980s. I've been picking this for about 15 minutes. I'll show you what I've got. So that's the sort of size bag. It's quite big. If I take a picture of it from back here. And as you can see, just bottles, cans. Come on, people. Put it in a bin. There's so many bins in Milton Keynes. I don't understand why you have to chuck it out the window. Parsnips and potatoes going in the oven. Miss Warner is due home any minute. You may be wondering, Lisa, what are you doing for the meat element? I have some of these. This is what they look like. Not so appetising there. Once they're covered in delicious gravy, surrounded by crunchy roast potatoes, whether there'll be a taste sensation. Hey, honey, you all right? Enjoy, Mr. Warner. Oh, just look at those. I may have gone a bit OTT with the G's. I wonder what this fake chicken's going to taste like. Delicious gravy. Mm. What do you think, Mr. Warner? That does, if we taste it, it does actually taste like chicken. So there we have it. Not a bad week at all. I'm not opening the intro. <laughs> Mr. Warner just did it without me. How Glenn, rude is that? Glenn was at work and I was like, I must get this edited. So I had to do it on my own. Started with the boat vloggers party. Oh, we did, yeah. And, can I say, a new Be Kind product. Mm. Yes, I know, Chuck I know. Warner. I know. Finally. Finally. I know, it's taken a while. I've put it as a pre-order for the beginning of next month because we've only got a limited stock. So that's it for this week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.